Welcome back to the Joy of Painting with Sawtooth Tactical. If you have followed this series at all, it's been going on for quite a while. I think this is the fourth installment. And this time, we're painting this. This is the TriStar Cobra 3 12 gauge pump action shotgun. I did a full review of this gun on the channel about a month ago. And uh, today we're going to paint it. This shotgun does not belong to me. This belongs to a good friend of mine, Ian. Thank you, Ian, for loaning the shotgun for the review, but also for letting me be artistic all over your firearm. Uh, I hope you enjoy the way that it turns out. I've uh, obviously painted a few of my own. Uh, this one I've painted twice. Um, this is the second version of it. Painted that one kind of recently. I also painted uh, another friend of mine, Josie's, uh, semi-automatic shotgun and this is Ian's pump action so before we get started there are a few things that you need to know about painting guns actually it's pretty simple process but you're gonna need a few things you need the gun right obviously you need paint these are the colors that Ian chose for this project we're gonna try to make it look as good as we possibly can I think it's going to turn out great, but I always think it's going to turn out great. You're going to need some painter's tape, blue masking tape. I'm going to use this stencil, but not in the same way that I have in the past. I obviously use this stencil for the camo patterns on both of these. We're going to do something a little bit different today, so I hope you guys enjoy that. And then one thing I've learned through doing this process multiple times, gloves are a really good idea because you have to hold the stencil very close to the gun while you're spraying or else you don't get the pattern. And by holding it close to the gun, your hand is right there. You get covered in paint if you don't wear gloves. Gloves are definitely optional, but I recommend them. So before we get started, make sure you subscribe to Sawtooth Tactical and let's get painting. So if you've followed this series, you know how the process goes. First thing we're gonna do, we are gonna wipe this down, make sure we get any excess oil, grease, carbon fouling, stuff like that off of it, just so that the paint adheres well. And then we're gonna tape off some parts of the gun. Generally, I don't tape off much these days, you know, like on an AR or something. Obviously the lens of your light, your optic lenses, Things like that. Sometimes I remove certain accessories. I usually don't like to, to paint the pistol grip. Um, on a shotgun like this, we're not gonna tape off much. Uh, I might tape off the trigger. Maybe a uh, part of the uh, grip here, the rubber butt pad, just because I think that the, uh, the paint will come off this pretty easily anyway. We're gonna put some tape over the end of the muzzle just to not get paint in there. Other than that, this thing can pretty much take it. We're gonna obviously paint the uh, ejection port here and the loading gate, put tape over those spots. So let's do that and uh, we'll be right back. And we are back. Uh, this shotgun required minimal taping. Like I said, rubber butt pad, just cause with how squishy it is, I think the paint would kind of flake off of that easily and so might as well just leave it how it is. Obviously, anywhere that paint can get inside the gun, you want taped off, muzzle end. I tape the front sight too, just cause I think black front sight kind of makes more sense than, than paint on it. <laughs> but uh, it didn't require much work to tape this gun off, which is nice because that means that we can get painting. Uh, so I've got these two colors here and what we're gonna go for today is kind of a horror or a uh, like a diagonal stripe pattern we're gonna use the underlying black of the gun and we're gonna use the camo stencil while we make the stripes so that you see the colors with the camo or with the black underneath coming through i think it'll turn out really good i sure hope so so uh let's get started on that while the paint's drying, I want to bring up some things. Every time that you do anything, you learn stuff. People learn, you learn through experience, right? Well, every single time that I've painted again, I've learned some new things, which is good, because that'll make me better and better at painting again. 
Now, I have always used the Rust-Oleum camo colors, flat specifically. Um, and, you know, I know that camo has been done, and that's the thing. This shotgun and the last one I painted are for friends of mine. They didn't want camo colors. Totally cool. I told them to pick out the colors. But I have found that different paints work differently. Some of them cure differently than others. Some of them just show up better than others. This, uh, this gloss white that he picked, this worked great. But the, uh, the popsicle orange here, it was difficult to, uh, to make it do what I wanted it to do. And I had to go back over it a couple times using that stencil to not, you know, screw it up, obviously. Um, and it did turn out pretty dang good. And so I'm going to show you guys that in just a second. It's just out in the sun right now, curing and drying. Um, and it did turn out pretty good, but you definitely learn things. And I have kind of learned why everyone that paints rifles does use specific types of paint. And we are back. I actually think it turned out pretty dang good. So check this out. You got the white with the orange with the black coming through underneath. And I think it looks pretty sweet. So let's check out the other side. I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with it. Ian is definitely going to have the most unique pump shotgun of anyone I know. And that's part of the point of painting your guns. Yeah, a lot of people do it for tactical reasons. Camouflage. You know, make it the same colors as the area you live in. And I totally understand that. But there's also something to be said for just making your gun fun and cool and unique and totally your own. And that's exactly what this is. I really hope he likes the way it turned out. I'm sure he will. I love it. Let's take the tape off and see the final product. Tape is off, which as I've said before, it's like pretty much the most satisfying part of the project. And here is what the shotgun looks like. I think it was smart to tape off the butt pad here, obviously kept the moving parts of the gun taped up so that you don't get any paint inside it. Loading gate, ejection port, muzzle, front sight. Other than that, man, I think this thing actually turned out pretty cool. I'm always, it's always a little bit nerve wracking at first, especially when it's someone else's gun. You want to do a better job even than when it's your own gun because you don't want to disappoint someone you know, and you've painted up their gun. But, like Bob Ross always said, there are no mistakes, only happy little accidents. So, if you go to paint your rifle, your shotgun, your handgun, whatever, and you don't like the way it turned out, just paint over it. That's what I did with this one. I did a paint job about a year and a half ago, I believe. And I used a, just a like an OD green and black and I used a, like a metal grate to try to get some kind of pattern on it. And at the time, I thought it was really cool. And as time went on, I decided that it was really boring. And so what did I do? I just repainted the gun. I didn't strip the paint off it. I didn't do anything like that. I just repainted the thing. And now I absolutely love it. I think it turned out fantastic. And it's what motivated me to paint this one. And I'll probably be doing my nine millimeter carbine as well soon because it's my last all black AR. <laughs> and uh, as much as black, black guns matter, black rifles matter, you know, painted rifles matter even more. If you're interested in painting your firearms and are looking for inspiration and ideas, there's a Facebook group called That's Cool Now Spray Paint It. Um, they're definitely worth checking out. But be careful, if you post your unpainted gun, they will give you seven days to paint it or else you're basically booted from the group. So check that out if you dare. Obviously, you know, I painted mine and all you gotta do is follow the rules. It's a spray painted gun group. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this latest installment of The Joy of Painting with Sawtooth Tactical, uh, please hit that like button. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this. 
Um, and tell me if you paint your rifles, your shotguns, whatever, your handguns. Tell me about your painting experiences. I love to hear from you guys and I answer every comment. And from Sawtooth Tactical, stay strapped or get clapped.